My name is Tony and uh, I'm a manager of this here luncheon club and uh, I run, I won't say manager, I'm, I control a rabble <laughs> and they're lovely ladies. Uh, I have between 15 to 21 uh, attend uh, when they can and uh, they have a, a two course lunch plus tea and coffee and they thoroughly enjoy it. I think I'm doing a good job, I don't know, you have to ask, the, ask, ask my public if I'm doing a good job. But I try to make them happy and relax and, uh, and uh, nothing's too much trouble. I've been doing luncheon club now for two and a half years. I got roped into it accidentally <laughs> because I wanted to help and then the lady did used to run it had to pack up through illness. I take them out to a, a lunch uh, occasionally during the year and then I'll, I'll go on holiday with them for a, day, a day's outing to the seaside which is all paid for through their contributions and, uh, and um, efforts they make. Uh, penny jar and the um, little bit we make on the meals. <laughs> Better than Joe's <Joshua>. chat. <laughs> I have a good staff. I have Winnie Thomas, uh, Shirley Williams and Olive Waller in the captain helping me out to serve and uh, distribute the meals and, and do all the washing up. And I, this club could not run without them. My friend is Shirley Williams and my name is Winnie Thomas. We're both with the WRBS. Uh, Shirley is very local. She only lives in the next street and I come from Wollaston area. And uh, we both enjoy helping out with the lunch club. Um, because it gives the older people, and we don't class ourselves as old, uh, a little day out, or a little, uh, few hours out, I should say, not a day out. And they enjoy their lunch, and we do the serving and the washing up afterwards, and we try to keep the place nice and clean and tidy. Um, we'll have to come, I mean, I'll have to come on a Thursday, um, to help out, you know. I mean, you get used to the how people come into the luncheon club and you sort of get to know everybody and it's just like a nice happy group here on a Thursday and of course we've got Tony I mean he keeps us in our place but <laughs> you know he's very good at everything he does all the best he can for us so we all do if everybody helps one another like you know and uh, we really enjoy it now we coming away they help me enormously I'm very proud of them as, as, to know them as friends as well as helping me I have a Christmas lunch here, um, which is open to the church. I have a Christmas meal, which is on the menu. Uh, it's uh, the same price as a normal weekday meal. And they have um, turkey and all the trimmings and that. And uh, if they want soup, they can have soup that day. Mince pies and all, all sorts, if they want. to land Dudno or last we did last year the ladies go f they go free uh, they pay some to they pay some a small charge towards the coach fee not all of it because it's it, it, we, we obviously our funds don't stretch to it's, it's got a limit on it we have been to Chester Chatsworth we've been to land Dudno uh, three years running you know different years when we go somewhere try and go somewhere different every year next year we might go to Western Supermare we'll see we meet on a Thursday, um, uh, the staff and I we get down here about half past ten, quarter to eleven, mainly half past ten, to lay the tables out and uh, the ladies come about twelve o'clock or half past eleven, depending if they've got the ring and ride can bring you or they can come by taxi or on Shanks's pony or whatever by bus. The meal starts about twenty past twelve till ten past one. Anybody would like to join, they would most welcome to anybody over 60. 
if you want a nice relaxing hour with some laughter and uh, a good service and a few jokes, if you like to call it that, please come. It's open to new members all the while. We'd love to see you and uh, I can only say that I feel most happy to see you.